Now, the next thing that uh, I showed was the fact we had um, uh, the ability to be able to store poses. I've added a, a pen attribute holder to the outside here. Uh, what I've done also, if I, I have these sort of subsets, and what I have is a pen attribute holder on each one of these, and it would only store the poses for these three controls, and this one would store any uh, poses for which in, in this set, and this set again, and then the outside one for all of them. That way the uh, um, animators can actually store poses for a piece of the face and, and whatnot. Pen attribute holder currently will, will store a pose for every attribute that's added to it, now you could do this in a couple of ways. One, you could go through the um, parameter editor and add attributes and then connect everything up, but uh, that isn't necessarily an efficient way to go about doing it. We don't really need all the spinners and sliders. Unless you wanted them all here, you could actually have all the spinners and sliders, which you could uh, use for resetting or typing in specific values. The other way to do it is to actually go in and just create a simple parameter that has no UI item. Uh, people always overlook that uh, to have uh, an attribute, you have to have a spinner or slider. You don't. You can just have a track of animation with no UI item attached to it. So what I've done is I've written one here. This is the one I used for the initial setup, so the um, uh, eyelids and, and whatnot are still in here. And uh, I could go ahead and add those two if I wanted, just by uncommenting them. So they'd all be added. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this definition. If I evaluate that, it evaluates to a custom attribute definition. I'm going to add it to this modifier here. And even though there's no UI item, you can actually see, I'm just going to uh, track views. You can see that it's added a bunch of uh, tracks of animation to the actual uh, modifier, it will store the pose on these. It doesn't need the UI item. UI items just sort of, uh, it just drives these. So um, it's this that you're actually storing. So now what we can do to be able to store poses on this is really easy. All we need to do is just simply instance the controllers from these to the corresponding controller here. So what I can do is I can go about just selecting both, let's say, and say this is the uh, right corner of the mouth, and say the X, and say copy, and uh, uh, let's see, right corner X, paste, and say paste instance. And now those are one and the same controller, those two X uh, controllers. So now whatever happens to this one will happen to this one. So when I store a pose on this controller here, I'm actually storing the value of this controller. So you go through and you just simply paste them all. Now again, this would be pretty easy to script for all intents and purposes. I'm just going to go through it this way. Uh, copy, and this is the jawbone, so there's the jaw X, jaw Y, and then the uh, left corner Copy and left corner, paste. Paste. And basically just go through and set all these up. I'll stop there and just show you that it does actually work uh, for these three currently right now. So let's say I go to this pose here and I want to reset this pose. All I have to do is say reset all and it'll reset them all back to zero, zero, zero. The reset here uh, will always key to will always reset to zero. So again, I can just say reset all, or of course I can go in and, and um, capture pose. And let's say it's um, this one here. I'll say uh, smirk and add it. Reset, and now with smirk selected out of the list the slider will actually slide all three of those controls. So doing this, I can actually have this you know, same setup and just include which, control, which controls I want to capture into it and instance those over to any given layer. So I could have pen attribute holder here and only capture it, the, uh, the only um, instance the eyebrow controls over to it. And for here, just the eye, for here, just the mouth, and whatever I want. Maybe, there was, uh, maybe there's a set of 
controls for uh, more geared towards uh, phonemes uh, for lip curls or whatever. I could capture just for those. Um, but the nice part being here is you can actually have uh, sets of them and be able to share this across characters if they're set up similarly uh, and have the same same sorts of values to get the uh, the same sorts of uh, poses out of them. You've also got a key and a copy and a paste, so you can copy and paste between characters or from place to place, so you could easily uh, grab a pose somewhere along the lines and say copy that and come, come along somewhere else and say paste it to here and it'll take you back to that same value that you, you copied to the copy buffer. So a very, very handy way of, of being able to deal with your, uh, with your facial animation. That's the end of the uh, segment on the morphing system. Next we'll get into setting up a rigging system.